bear with us. What? Can I have the record button? Anyone want to record it? Yeah. Oh. Okay, the red button. Oh, it's blinking. Does that mean it's recording? Okay. I think the sound is amazing. Like that, 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 that was amazing. Right? The mic. That is, yeah. that is, wow. That, like, he showed me the headphones, but I'm like, that. I can't hear you, but I can hear those. Yeah, really he's that well. good. Yeah, yeah, I need these for DJing. Oh, wait, yeah, you, you, you can use these headphones normally, right? For anything, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> which which one? Oh, what? Oh, okay. He's like, give me the money shot. <laughs> Blow it away, Matrix. What? Ah, you're floating. That, that, that's a good shot right there. I love that. <laughs> one more. He's like, one more shot. Oh, get it. Please do. All right. So thank you, Matt. You have the. 7.1 surround, right? Yeah. So that's USB B plug. Uh, but what I really love and what's really unique is it's a 50 millimeter graphene driver. Okay. And not only that, but it has a floating magnet. So it's a free floating magnet. That's why we, can't, we call it a maglev driver. And by having that magnet not connected to the coil, this is the first brand that's ever done this, you have a lot wider range and flexibility. So that produces a lot deeper bass. Where we're getting uh, like 20 hertz, you know, boom. And, and it sounds so cool for games and entertainment. So when there's like explosions or gunfire or whatever, you feel it. It's bass you can feel. It's very immersive that way. And then the other thing that's unique about this is, you know, most gaming headphones are, are pretty much cheap plastic. And we decided to, it, it worked so well for our other headphones. We do everything with aluminum alloys and other metal crafting. And we're like, hey, let's do stainless steel, you know, brushed metal, working with zinc aluminum joints. Everything's built to last, but it's also better for sound because you can control metal better than means with plastic. Mm. And, you know, they just look a lot cooler too. So I love these headphones and we can't. We're going to release them December 1st is our soft launch and our hard launch will be around CES at the beginning of the year. And uh, we're putting them out at uh, $129.99. So pretty okay. excited to see what this does to the gaming space. That's, that's not a bad spot to be in yeah. uh, also because... Absolutely. Uh, be able to see myself be, because ju just trying those right now those were better than like professional like gaming or even like the beats headphones that i've used before oh yeah a lot of people who, who are like we've done tests with these are like i'm using them for music i'm using them for everything just because one the bass effect is so amazing and also a graphene driver is as good as it gets i mean that's what the highest end over ears for audio files are using graphene as well. So we're using the same quality that you would with an audio file headphone. We're bringing it into a gaming headphone. So that's really exciting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, these uh, definitely got me thinking I would do better audio for my videos editing with those on. You could use some, and, and what's cool is they're ENC, so they're environmental noise canceling. There's actually a, a little mic right here. Oh, I definitely couldn't hear anything. And, and another mic there. Sound. Yeah, so what's happening too is if you're talking to someone, it's canceling out about 90% of background noise, attenuation about 20 dB, it's taking that background noise down. So when you're talking like to someone in the game or communicating, it's essential, they'll only hear your voice and okay. they won't hear background noise. You know, so that's a really effective. That was, that was gonna be my next question was, uh, what's the technology in the mic? Yeah. So yeah, it's dual, dual mic array, uh, ENC technically, that's what you'd call it. Um, and uh, that it's very effective for reducing background noise. Uh, awesome, thank you. Yeah. Gotta go uh, check out more things. Matt's so I really like the, so I have the Sony headset, which I paid like 250 yeah. or something for, a lot of money. And it's not bad if it's over the VR, PSVR, yeah. but the sound, the sound is so much better. Are you using better. the PSVR on? I use PS, I am a PSVR, that's like my, I have Horizon, I still haven't even opened Horizon Dawn, I bought it. Yeah. I'm too busy playing VR, cause that's, it, I don't, like, cause I grew, you grew up playing all those games, you're like, you want a different experience. And I'm sure those games are amazing, and I'm sure they're all great, but like, 
I want to like be moving around and look around. Like I play rec in VR with social, with social experience, yeah. and like. Do you ever watch like uh, movies on the Facebook thing yet? I, have, like, I watch people? a little bit of YouTube, and okay. I, you know, what's great about so all those 360 videos, you have to hand, yeah. you know, use your finger or like move around your. Or, or hold your those, phone like this yeah. and just. Those those are best viewed with a PSV. You put a PSV on, you go into YouTube, and now I'm looking at New York Times 360, and they show it to you like. Yeah. You don't have to scroll around, so that's what it was made for. So awesome. that, like, so I think that that's the issue. A lot of people are like, oh, why don't we watch a 360 video? I think they were made for headsets. So once right. people have headsets, that'll be a little bit better.